This procedural video is intended to provide an overview of the technique of clinical electroporation and electrochemotherapy using the IGEA medical clinoporator device. It is not intended to replace formal training sessions, which can be facilitated by IGEA medical on request. When the IGEA clinoporator device is switched on, it will run through the preset safety checks and calibration of machine parameters. An appropriate sterile single-use electrode is selected depending on the area and depth of tumour to be treated. Patient details are entered via a simple touch screen function and any relevant additional notes may be added. The packaging barcode is scanned in order to automatically upload machine parameters for the specific electrode selected. The connector cable must be attached from the electrode to the clinoporator device. The setup is then complete and ready for use. Upon the introduction of the venous bolus of chemotherapy drug to the patient, the touch screen eight minute countdown should be activated. This lag time ensures maximal distribution and concentration of the drug before the treatment starts. Cancer nodules are treated by inserting the needle electrodes through the skin into the tumour mass and discharging the electrical current. The electrical current is simply armed and then the pulse discharged by depressing the relevant pedal switches as shown. The entire area requiring treatment should be covered by multiple needle insertions and discharge of electrical pulse. The treatment window is 30 minutes from the introduction of the drug and either multiple nodules or a larger tumour area can be treated during this time. A suitable dressing should be applied at the end of the treatment. Once the treatment is complete, the machine is powered down and the device logged out via the touchscreen button. The specific details of chemotherapy agent, dose and introduction to the patient, as well as all appropriate pre-operative patient checks and anaesthesia, are detailed in the European Standard Operating Procedures for Electrochemotherapy and should be referred to before considering the introduction of this technique.